Bison and wild rice meatloaf is a hearty meal choice. Bison is a traditional food that comes from the Mountain Plains region and historically was traded with indigenous peoples of the Midwest. Bison provided food, shelter, and tools for indigenous peoples. Bison is rich in iron, which helps to prevent anemia for people of all ages. First, gather your ingredients. You'll need a half cup of wild rice, or one and three quarters to two cups of cooked wild rice, two tablespoons of vegetable oil, one onion, finely chopped, three cloves of garlic, minced or three eighths teaspoon garlic powder, a quarter cup of cornmeal, two eggs beaten, three quarters of a cup of tomato juice, one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of oregano or Italian herb blend, two pounds of ground bison, or one pound of ground bison plus one pound of ground beef, thawed. To make the better than ketchup sauce, you'll need one 15 and a half ounce can of tomato sauce, a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar, a quarter cup of maple or brown sugar, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, a half teaspoon of ground allspice, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and one tablespoon of molasses. This is optional, but delicious. Always start by washing your hands and the lids of any cans. If using uncooked rice, rinse the rice under cool water and place in a small saucepan. Add one and a half cups of water. Bring to a boil and then reduce the heat to simmer. Cover and cook the rice for 30 to 45 minutes or until tender. If using rice that is already cooked, measure out the amount needed and place into a large bowl. In the meantime, preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Chop the onions and garlic. In a heavy skillet, heat the oil over medium heat and add the chopped onion and minced garlic. Cook and stir until the onion is soft, about five minutes. Place the cooked onions and garlic into a large bowl and add the cooked wild rice, cornmeal, beaten eggs, tomato juice, salt, pepper, and oregano. Mix thoroughly. Add the ground bison and beef if you're using. Gently mix until well combined. Do not overwork the meat mixture. Form into a loaf and place back into the skillet or another pan. A thinner loaf or a large patty will cook faster. Wash your hands after handling raw meat. Bake for 30 minutes. In the meantime, make the sauce. In a small bowl, combine the tomato sauce, vinegar, sugar, and spices, and simmer gently for 10 minutes. After 30 minutes of baking, spread one quarter to one half of the sauce over the top of the meatloaf. Bake for an additional 30 minutes or until the internal temperature reaches 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Let the meatloaf sit, covered with foil, for 10 to 15 minutes before slicing. Serve with extra sauce. Enjoy!